called the serosa, the serosa, and here's the first layer of muscle, the longitudinal muscle, muscle exposed. Opening up the stomach, so you can see the inside, you have here the lower esophageal sphincter area, you have the fundus that rises above the sphincter, you have the cardia, which is just inside the uh, esophagus, and the body of the stomach. That leads to this area back here, which is called the pylorus, and it's made up of the pyloric antrum, pyloric canal, and it terminates at the pyloric sphincter. This pyloric sphincter leads or allows access from the stomach to the small intestine, which is the duodenum. So here's the duodenum of the small intestine, and it's connected to the jejunum and the ileum. The ileum is pale blue. The ileum terminates here and over here, and is connected to the large intestine at the ileocecal valve right here. This is called the cecum, and posterior to the cecum is this appendix right here. This is the appendix, this is the cecum, and it becomes the ascending colon and bends, the ascending colon bends at an area where the liver would be, and it's called the hepatic flexure. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's the hepatic flexure. It crosses the stomach as a transverse colon, and it bends again, it flexes again to become the splenic flexure, just bend here, the descending colon, and then the sigmoid colon over here. Okay? The liver. The liver has a large right lobe and a small left lobe divided by the falciform ligament. On the back side of the liver is the gallbladder. This is where bile is stored. Bile comes from the right side of the liver by way of the right hepatic duct here and the left hepatic duct here. When the left hepatic duct and right hepatic duct meet, it becomes the common hepatic duct. When the common hepatic duct is intersected by the cystic duct here, it becomes the common bile duct. The cystic duct connects to the gallbladder, the cystic duct here is connecting to the common bile duct, and the common bile duct leads to, here is the common bile duct, and the common bile duct joins up with the pancreatic duct here, and they drain into the duodenum at this area called the hepatopancreatic ampulla. The hepatopancreatic ampulla, where lipase from the pancreas and bile from the gallbladder begins fat emulsification and fat digestion. The pancreas has a head, a body, and a tail, and it has ridges on it, areas called lobules. The tail of the pancreas sits in the hilum of the spleen, the largest lymphatic organ in the body. What else did uh, 